what is up what is up today or actually tonight because it's uh probably 10 30 at night but we're gonna be making a sled to tow behind you while you're wade fishing See that i'm sitting here in my garage and i'm trying to come up with things to put together to make some sort of sled that i can kind of tow behind me and put fish in it i can keep my tackle with me maybe a spare rod or two um just to make things more comfortable because I plan on wading a long ways. So here's what I came up with. All right, so I got a kid's sled here. I've got three of these I picked up for like a dollar a piece on clearance in like the summertime from Kroger. And it's not huge, but it fits a basket perfect, man. And a basket is a universal tool for like kayak fishing and all kinds of stuff. So I think this is my base here. And I've got these crab pot buoys that I've got attached to what used to be an outrigger for a kayak. So I had two of these, one on each side of a kayak, and you could put them out when you wanted to, and you could actually stand up in a kayak that wasn't really standable. And uh, it was just something I was messing around with, but it worked really well. But I think I'm gonna cut the ends off that PVC and steal those buoys. I got four of them total. And I'm gonna attach them to the sides of this guy on four corners. And hopefully it floats high enough and it's got enough buoyancy that you can carry your fishing tackle with you while you're wading around in the water. There you go, that's my bucket of misfit crab pots. Put them in the marsh all over the place and uh, I'm just stealing the rope off this guy. Right there. Got our holes drilled, knots tied, crab pot buoys on tight. I mean, adding definitely adding some flotation to this thing, even if it rolls upside. I mean, that's gonna keep it from getting swamped, I think. So that should that should be a big help. There you go. Here it is finished product got your tow rope got the buoys on there got a floating live well that's gonna hang off the back on a uh, carabiner put my net and a popping cork rod in there or a cat another casting rod like a topwater rod so there it is guys let's hit the water see what this thing can do all right water testing we're out here first time trying it out check that bad boy out man she is perfect there you have it guys make your own sled the sled cost me a dollar on clearance the crab pot buoys i recycled ropes recycled everything's recycled on that thing except for the uh dollar float so go out and make yourself a uh, cool float raft so you can drag it behind you while you fish bye y'all yeah.